man, stacks on stacks on stacks. I'm loving this time of cracking open these packages with you, these unshrinking, these boards that came down from our collection. It's another day here, lunchtime at Western. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're gonna open these up and just discover them for the first time together. And then we'll toss them in the warehouse. Uh, this is first dibs, first access to our pretty extensive skateboard collection. So many unique items, things that I know a lot about, some I don't know anything about, so share with us. This is this is time for the conversation. We're at the dinner table. We're ready to talk skateboard. So hit us up and uh, let's keep digging. Let's get in on this first stack right here. This top one has a uh, is a huff deck. Oh yeah, we've, we've seen this one before. It's pretty cool. It's a, got this gal with her legs all up, single press on a stained veneer. Cool huff deck. Uh, I think we got a, a few of these. I don't know if this came with a certain series that they did. Um, yeah, so we got a few of those. Those are they're pretty cool. Um, oh dang. We haven't seen any of these yet. How about crimson skateboards? Very cool. Um, this was a very unique time in LA, South Southern California. Um, but check this art out. Crimson skateboards. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is Chris Markenfish for crimson skateboards, which uh, I didn't know he did art for them. Very cool. He may have done a series or what, but here we are. Markovich, Crimson Skateboards. I know some of you spread word to some of your homies that were around in that Crimson period. Check that board out. That's very cool. How about a uh, Chico Brennis chocolate? Looks like it says Chico Brennis chocolate plus DVS. So he signed his name and then he wrote his main two sponsors. <laughs> I'm not sure what was going on that day or what conversation, but it's a signed Chico Brennis Chico board for chocolate skateboards. Chico for chocolate. Oh man, guest artist, Shepard Ferry for stereo skateboards. Um, Chris Patrick's pro model. Very cool. We got two of them. Nope, we got three of them. Oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh. We got four of them. <laughs> Very cool. Stereo, Shepherd Ferry, uh, unique little collaboration here. It's definitely in uh, the teens, if I'm not mistaken. Very cool products. Uh, it's Shepherd Ferry, baby. It's Chris Pastorist. What can you say? Very cool collaboration. Uh, this is something to skate. Not sure what brand or organization this is. Um, just a white dipped board that has uh, two skate since day one. So apparently they didn't talk to uh, real skateboards about their slogan. We just did that because I know it has been uh, the mantra from real skateboards. All right, next stack here. Oh, shoot. Live the Dream FTR. Um, this is a hand drawn. Uh, hand stenciled Powell Rat Bones J Adams board signed by someone that I'm not sure about. Uh, we reached out to our friends at Skate One and Powell to ask them if they knew. Uh, we're still problem solving on this one. Very cool to see this in the stack. This was front and center in the collection. Um, so I know that this was in the area that forever in my life I was known not to go there. And now we're going there, going in and checking these boards out. That is an extremely cool, rare. Uh, stencil art, rat bone, Powell Peralta deck that, uh, yeah, we're going to take some detailed pictures of and, and get going and, and share with you about that. Um, cool. Eric Costin uh, for girls skateboards. It's got you know, some sticky and some scratch on it, unfortunately. Kind of compromises the quality there. Um, but uh, how about a uh, Mark Gonzalez Crooked deck with a real top ply? This is a real crooked or a crooked reel. I don't ever remember this logo. Uh, pretty dope. It doesn't look like it was, oh yeah, it was screened over. You can see in the space here, the point of the graphic before it. So this must have been a team board or something. Someone loved that shape from real and uh, screened over it for Mark. I'm putting that over there. Um, oh, cool. 
Sailor Moon, Paul Rodriguez, uh, Primitive, one of the early collaborations they did. They revisited this a couple times, but this is definitely um, one of the earlier ones. Looks like the wood's been bonked a little bit, but very cool. Sailor Moon for Primitive. Oh, some more Primitive. Some Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, not super. Um, it's about Captain's Albanzi. Uh, man, Primitive really did it. They grabbed all the All-Stars. Um, and this is the Bronzy uh, Primitive deck. And Doc Dash is so sick. Um, very cool. Primitive deck. Uh, how about a... Uh, this is for a Fatima Lebanese restaurant for Passport Skateboards. Must have been a place they love going to. Um, very cool. Love these passport. I love the brown they always do in their top of life. I thought that was very class. Nice shout out to House Park. Very cool deck. Very, very cool. Uh, Elijah Burl, chocolate, big boy. Looks like a double hole press deck. Longer wheelbase. Um, rad chocolate Elijah Burl deck, which is crazy. It looks upside down. It looks like the tails and nose. Oh, there's holes drilled in the rear truck, which is very different. And then, oh cool, this is the Guy Mariano Soul Land Numbers deck. I wish that Numbers kept it going. They had some up and down art series, but man, what a team. Um, numbers, quick blimp of time uh, with Eric Austin, Guy, Miles Silvis, and the crew there. Very cool skateboards. And then uh, how about a Sinner Life Extension signed by Sinner. Um, there's also a note that says, Nick, thanks for having us over. It was a great time, but we're fleeting. So we're out of here. Oh, that's part of the graphic. <laughs> I thought there was a handwritten note, but it's uh, part of the graphic. They always had a fun top five for this, uh, this period with Sinner and Nick T with Life Extension. I uh, love to see Nick T on Toy Machine longer, but hey, I'm not living your life, you're living your life. So, here we are. Uh, how about the Wonder Woman, Chris Haslam. Uh, my favorite part of these decks are the, the top five. <laughs> they always hit, kick me on it, on their back, as if like the other superheroes put them on it. But uh, very cool, Chris Haslam almost uh, series, and Looks like we might have the whole kit. Uh, day one, right, for Batman. And then uh, Rodney Mullen, uh, the Superman. And then Green Lantern was, yeah, Eunice on Rodney. And then Aquaman was Cooper Will. And then we had Willow with the Flash. There it is, bam, the whole series. I can't spread these out anymore, <laughs> but uh, you get the gist. A whole six piece series here. Um, incredibly, incredibly sick. I think this is 2014. It says S14 uh, on the top right here. Amazing, uh, cool DC series from almost skateboards. Uh, definitely gonna wanna keep those together in the mix there. Uh, remember this? Jeremy Rogers for girl skateboards. This is cool. Um, seven and a half. Creek Plan B. Classic OG font for girl skateboards. Very old school deck. Very cool Jeremy Rogers deck. We got a diamond drinking, I don't know, taste the diamond life. Uh, you interpret that for me. Seems pretty, pretty cool. Um, and then. Uh, Malicious Skates Co. Captain Crunchy. Not sure what that is. It's definitely a brand that made a run for it. Captain Crunchy. That's our action today. Some amazing decks. A real deck screened over with a Crooked Guns uh, sweatpants graphic. Very cool. Hand painted boards. We're digging in. 30 more decks. Lunchtime at Western. I'm just, every time I'm just like, what? <laughs> just it's so stoked. Um, some of these we might hold back. To be honest with you, that series with the superheroes is extremely awesome and like something that I'd love to have for the rest of my life. But if it means the world to you, hit me up. Let's talk about it. Like seeing all six of those together is, is sick. 
Um, we're here to talk to you guys. So we're out. Thank you for the day. Have an awesome one out there. We're going to lay this all out in, in a quick second, show you the whole panel. Later, guys.